Hi, I'm Jessica Citizen from GamePro News and I'm here with Brian from Gearbox to talk about Aliens Colonial Marines. Yes. What can you tell us about it? It's huge. It's awesome. Yeah, finally we're able to play in the universe and be the Colonial Marines and kind of basically make the sequel that we've always wanted to see. So this fits in just after the second movie? It actually takes place after the third movie. But it's a spiritual successor to Aliens, and this time we get to play as the Colonial Marines. So it's kind of the movie that everybody always wanted to see, but weren't able to. And it's a video game. And it's a video game, so you get to play it and be the Colonial Marines instead of just watching them on a big screen. So where the hell are they, Brian? Don't know. Take us days to sit through this much data. And that just tells us who made it back to the cryotubes. Better off doing it the old fashioned way, like we found the synthetic on the ship. You found the synthetic? We found half the synthetic, sir. Jesus. Mary, we had two civvies on that boat. Yes, sir. One Ellen Ripley and Carter J. Burke. So, this is something that everybody has wanted to play for a while. Is it something that you guys have wanted to create for a long time as well? Yeah, I'm kind of dating myself, but when I was a teenager, I went to see Aliens in the theater on opening night, and ever since, ever since then, I've wanted to make this game. I think as most of the guys in the industry have wanted to do. Uh, I mean, you look at Halo, you look at even little moments in Call of, du Call of Duty where they're, you know, quoting the game or, or naming char uh, quoting the movie or naming characters after, you know, the movie. So the whole industry has wanted to play in this, and so it is a real privilege for us to finally be able to make a game that's sort of true to Cameron's sort of vision for Colonial Marines. And you've been trusted with a whole lot of actual assets from the films as well, haven't you? Yeah, we have, both from sound effects to... Um, you know, photos from the sets, uh, photos of the actors in the actual costumes and all that kind of thing. Uh, Fox has been very good at documenting what they had done on the set, so we're really happy for that because then we're able to really dig into that and recreate that really well. Um, plus, obviously, we dig into every uh, DVD and, you know, try to find out everything we can, and now that the Blu-rays are out, we can see even more detail, so it's really cool. And do you have Ridley Scott's blessing? Well, you know, he wasn't necessarily as excited about Aliens as he was about his film Alien, but he th he respected Cameron and what Cameron was doing with it, so it's really cool that way. So what we have is uh, I was able to sit down with, with Ridley Scott and just talk about different IPs and things, and he was able to kind of go over his storyboards and pull them out, dust them off, you know, kind of blow them off, you know, with a, get the dust off of them and tell us all about it. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, he's interested in that, and we've been able to work with people like Sid Mead on... Um, conceptualization, uh, he invented the Sulaco and basically the future, uh, and a lot of the areas in, uh, in Aliens. So. And so even if there are regions in the movies that we didn't actually get to see, but that the, the storyboard artists or whoever may have designed, we, we hear that we'll actually be able to explore some of those in the game? That's exactly right. So, and if we needed an area, we were able to go right back to Sid and say, hey, Sid, look, we need, you know, a, a different type of hallway, but we want it to feel consistent to what you were doing on the Sulaco. So, hey, can you do that for us? And he's been doing a lot of concept art specifically for the game based on the kinds of things that he was doing for the movie. So when this was first publicly announced, we heard that it was coming out for you know 360 and PS3 yeah. and PC, but yeah. this week there's been another special announcement. So where else can we play Aliens Colonial Marines? Well, right now we're looking into whether we can get you know get this to, to, to be the kind of game that we want on the, the Wii U. Uh, we're really excited about the controller. We're excited about the system. We think it's going to be an amazing stopgap between the two generations. We think it's going to be a fantastic uh, system. Now, the thing is, we're just prototyping it now, so we're not announcing it yet, but we are saying that it would be a fantastic game to have on the Wii U. So is it possible, I understand this is a touchy subject, is it possible that it might not be exactly the same game, but it might be a complementary experience if that would work better on the new technology? Yeah, that's what we're talking about with Sega, is what is the right thing to do with this? But we can all picture things um, like, you know, using the motion tracker with, with the controller would be fantastic. So where are they coming from? Well, you know, you can just look down, right? That'd be amazing. So we don't have to kind of put that kind of stuff in the HUD on the Wii U, so it's fantastic. What is the one thing that everybody needs to know about Aliens Colonial Marines? Four player drop in, drop out co-op. 
I had forgotten about that. <laughs> yes, not only can the campaign campaign be played, uh, you know, solo, but you can play it with your friends. You can really uh, craft your squad the way you want with your with your buddies, and that is that is fantastic. I think uh, what we've done with the atmosphere, getting the atmosphere right, is something I'm extremely proud of, and to finally be able to play in this universe and make a true uh, sequel to Aliens, awesome. Now, I'm, I'm not going to say that the crossover was, was a particularly fabulous uh, direction that they took it in, but uh, if this works, could we see a similar interpretation of Predator? Not in our game. We think that there's probably a great avenue for a good Predator game. Uh, we think that'd be fantastic. But for us, you know, our personal feeling is it's kind of a little like getting wasabi in our peanut and no. peanut butter and chocolate, you know, and you know, a Reese's cup uh, with wasabi. Although that might be a good flavor, I don't know. But, no, we, we really wanted to concentrate on the Colonial Marine specifically and really do a full game on that instead of just some small one-third kind of section. All right, then, then those of us who are Predator fans will just have to keep waiting. <laughs> so thank you very much sure. for your time. No problem. Thank you for your time. Yeah.